Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Redivus RA87 GMRS mobile radio. As some of you may or may not notice here lately, I've been uh, kind of deep diving into the GMRS world a little bit, checking things out, and I'm having a little bit of fun. <laughs> I got to cruising eBay the other day and I came across a deal from Redivus directly. They're selling a pair of RA87 GMRS mobile radios. And they mentioned a relay slash repeater function in some of the documentation that I found. So I investigated that a little bit on their website and found out they sell a data cable that goes in between the two models. They call it a one contact or one point to one point or one contact to one contact data cable. And after reading the manual that I downloaded, I found out that it's for a repeater function. So you can take two of the radios, join them with this data cable and make a repeater out of them. And I thought, interesting, I wonder what the functionality is. Well, they happened to be on sale and I ended up getting some kind of coupon as well. So I got them for a pretty good price. So. I purchased both the radios and the data cable, which came separately. I was not approached by Redivus at all to make this video or to evaluate the product. It looked like a very good radio, and I really wanted to find out if that was the case. So I went ahead and ordered it. I went ahead and ordered the pair and the cable, and I got them in, and the evaluation started. So that's what this video is all about. So come along on an adventure with me into the Redivus RA87 mobile radio maybe a repeater you can't ever tell where this adventure is going to take us but we're going to find out so let's go check it out look at this here is box number one i'm not going to unbox both of them obviously because they're identical so let's just take a look at this real quick and as you open the box you get the nice redivus ra87 GMRS Mobile Radio, a user manual. And right here is the illustration that talks about the patch cable, of, for lack of a better word, that uh, joins the two radios and where you put them into repeater mode. Now let's take a look at the radio itself. Hallelujah, it came with a programming cable. Nice USB programming cable. I like that. Uh, got a package here of, of several screws, bolts, and microphone hook. Looks like their microphone is like an ICOM style microphone with a hook in the back of it. Let's take one out of the package. Hmm. It's a little light. Uh, uh, microphones, to me, need to have a little weight to them. I've seen a lot of manufacturers over the years put uh, metal parts, just heavy metal parts that serve no purpose other than to give the microphone a little weight. And I don't know, it just makes it feel like a tougher microphone. This one's light. It's lo very light. It's got a nice pronounced click in the PTT. Feels good in the hand. It's just a tad slick, nothing major. Got the hook area on the back for the microphone. Looks to be an RJ45 plug for the microphone socket. Looks like we've got a standard power cable. Looks like a T connector. Yep, double fused on the uh, positive and the negative wires. I like that very much. Oh, wow. Radio's got some meat to it, though. Woo! This thing's heavy. Metal construction. It's rugged feels rugged. I don't know that it is rugged, but it feels rugged. Nice. Screen protector. Selector knob is notched. Feels very good. Semi-tight. The buttons recess inwards, like directly inwards of the power button. And this is a volume and squelch button. Remember Yesu used to do that, or did do that, does do that, I don't know. The FT8900 uh, that I had so many years ago did that. It was very nice. Here on the back we have an SO239 antenna connector. As you can see that very well. And we have a what's marked as a data and a speaker port. That's, uh, what is that, 3.5 millimeter? 
ish speaker on top of the unit so if you need to dash mount it you've got speaker coming up cooling fins underneath Redivus GMRS mobile radio on the sticker model RA87 output power 40 watts frequency GMRS not numbers just letters FCC ID 2 Adam or let me let me rephrase that Okay, FCC ID is 2 Alpha, 3 Ocean Ocean, no, 2 Alpha, 3 Oscar Oscar, Romeo Alpha, 87. I won't tell you the serial number, but you can see it anyway, whatever. You can see it anyway, whatever. Made by Shenzhen Redibus Technology Company Limited, number 12, Gandalf Road, Chihuahua Street, Longang District, Shenzhen, China. Made in China. Wow, I'm just tickled pink how tough this thing feels. Hmm. A lot of heat, a lot of heat sink. That, that's a very big plus. Very big plus. Can you see that all right? Hmm. Don't know if the camera's going to focus that on that or not because I'm blind already. All right, we have two of these, and whenever the cable comes in, which should be any day now, we're going to test it and see how that repeater function works. Coming soon, I'll power it up, and we'll take a look at that, too. Okay, here we are, and in front of you, you see the red of us, RA87, all its glory. Let's, uh, let's just turn it on, see what happens. volts 450 megahertz I'm gonna leave it on 450 megahertz for right now and we're gonna hook up the microphone and do a little power testing we've got it hooked up to a dummy load the whole radio feels rugged to me the mic feels good in the hand I just wish it had just a little bit more weight to it you know, things get bouncing around in a vehicle, and off the hook it comes if you've got to do this kind of hook. It doesn't have the standard old-fashioned disc onto a forked mic. This takes a hook. This is a hook mic. Nothing wrong with that. But you need a mic that's got a little weight to it so it doesn't bounce around as much and come off of that hook. Not that that's a bad problem, but it happens. I can't see anything, so here it goes on 450 megahertz. Looks like we're at 4.87 watts, and we are on high power. So let's let's get into the GMRS range and see what happens. Four sixty two dot six fifty says there's an H on it at high power. Let's see what we got. Ooh, thirty five watts. This must be a GMRS radio for sure. It's got a Roger beep coming through the speaker when I unkey. WRUT nine twenty three. Interesting. I'd be turning that off. I think low one. 4.92 watts. This is low two. 11.49 watts. If you can see that or not, my lights are janky. I apologize. This is low three. 18.49 watts and a high SWR. I am going into a dummy load. Medium power, 26.35 watts. Thank you. 
and high power once again. 35.7 watts on 462.600. Interesting. And I'll mess with the microphone a little bit here and see what we get. That's an up and down. So go up and down in the VFO. So let's put it back in. Well, I wonder if we can get over to the other VFO. It's got a rotary squelch on the back of the volume knob. I like that. I like it a lot. Reminds me of the Yesu uh, FT8900 I used to have. KE5 MCA. And you know who you are. Take care of my baby. All right. This thing came with a uh, programming cable. We might just test that sucker out. Let me read the uh, manual a little bit, and then I'll be right back. I've started the Get Rid of Us RA87 uh, software. It has been successfully installed. I'm going to hit finish. We're just going to go through here and find it. And launch the software. Okay. Sure, we're going to have to select a port. And let's see. Let's plug in the programming cable here. See how sophisticated this software actually is. COM5. We'll choose that. Let's read the radio. Seems to be communicating. And it reboots. And the screen says 100%. Okay. Let's see if I can find radio info. It says the frequency is 400 to 479.995 megahertz. And it's a drop-down window. And there are two other choices here. 134 to 175 and 340 to 399, which I'm not going to choose. I just find it interesting that it's there. Channel info. Uh, looks like we're in call and VFO. There may not be any. Well, I bet there is some memory channels. And there is. Look at that business. Okay. We wanted 700 initially, but we ended up on 18. 462.625. So let's just focus on 700 here. And see if we can change. Yes. It's on a digital tone and is a drop down window. And we'll go to 67.0. How about that? And we'll leave it memory channel 21. Let's remember that. 21. 462.70.700, I should say, simplex. And let's write it in. And we hit write. Got to have something to pass the time. Okay. So, where did the Welky go? Anybody recognize this? The Talk Pod 836 Plus. This Halloween it will be given away with the Aubrey AR730, which is kind of a close cousin to this thing. But this one is the Ham Radio Crusader version. Okay, so let's take a look at channel 21. Ah, it says CTCSS now. So four, six, okay, let's go back to frequency mode. Let's see if we can get the low power. Okay, let's turn this volume way down. WRUT 923. <laughs> WRUT. A little bit higher. WRUT 923. WRUT 923. Come over here. I'm lost in the wilderness. Save me. Okay. So let's see what it sounds like from here. I've got to turn the volume back up on this one. 
WRUT 923. WRUT 923, over. Test one, two. This thing actually sounds really good. I'm getting a little feedback because I'm close up here, but hey, give me, give this poor guy a break. Let's put this on low power. WRUT 923. WRUT. Whoop. Helps when you push the button. WRUT 923. Go ahead. CQ, CQ. Come in, CQ. WRUT 923. Well, I'll tell you what, boys and girls, software is easy to use. There'll be a link in the description, and you will be able to download a copy of the software, the Windows 11 driver, and the manual, all electronic, off of my website or the Ham Radio Crusader website. <laughs> Hamradiolife.org. It's revamped. I've made it a little bit less 1990. We're probably up to around 2000 now. It just, it's my web design, so you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit. But uh, next up, we're going to hook it up and make it a repeater. It may take some manual reading, but we'll be right back. So my initial take on the Redivus RA87 was pretty positive. I like the look and feel of the whole radio. I really like the way it performed. And since I bought two of them and the data cable to link the two, I tried out the repeater function as well. It wasn't as straightforward as I'd like to have been, so that's why I made the part two video that's coming up after this one. Look for it soon. But uh, so far, the Red of SRA87, GMRS, mobile radio, it's worth it. It's a nice little radio, puts out good wattage, gives you lots of functionality and a lot of options. So check it out. You can pick it up on eBay. You can pick it up. I believe you can get it on Amazon as well. I'll try to include some links of uh, availability as I uh, discover them. I found it on eBay directly from Red of us. So, y'all have a great day. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, wishing all the good signals to be yours. Ham on, y'all.